Hi, welcome to Edda the Ice Lady everyone. Uh, tonight we're gonna review two pots which I got sent from my friend Michael Hack from a German growers um, group. And it's a Douglas, Douglas Bot Tea Cross, uh, also known as a Sepia Serpent. And um, one which is called Pimenta Project Number no. One. And I found out it's a cross out of a pimenta de nede and a random unknown parent. Um, I think I would like to start uh, with the pimenta project number one. Um, actually, I got this uh, like four weeks ago and they look, they look fantastic. Have a look at them. They are still in a good shape and condition and they are beautifully shaped. And this isn't mold over there. It's just the color of the pot. It has dark spots and it's like um, different colors like red and brown and so on. So I'm going to cut this open. And have a smell. Oh, it smells nice. It smells really nice and fruity. It has uh, quite a lot of seeds and placenta. Um, it looks pretty dry, to be honest. I don't see a lot of oil inside of it. Maybe I have a wrong impression. Um, because actually I have plenty of oil on my knife I'm trying to cut some of the seeds and placenta out and just have the, the pipe yes of course I'm going to keep the seeds because I'm not only reviewing them I'm growing too and have a bite let's see Yes, on the second impression, there is some oil in it. Mm. Mm, okay, this tastes fruity and almost sweet. A really nice taste. <clears throat> and mm, it builds quite a heat instantly. It's not mild at all, so I would say this ranges easily towards a scorpion. Mm, it, it develops some bitterness. But it has a very nice fruity and almost sweet impression first. And the heat profile as um, scorpion-like, I would say, so it develops uh, in the whole mouth, the whole tongue is covered with heat a little bit on the side of my mouth and also the gums. Not too much in my throat. We'll see if it goes somewhere else. Just wait a second to see how it develops. Still climbing, so this isn't done yet. Nice pepper, a nice pepper, and definitely a, a very good looking one. So, I didn't bring yogurt today because I was out of it's just some plain nuts to, to cool down. I'm not sure if I look forward to this Dugla and Butch tea because I heard that they are mean hot and easily hotter than any Reaper. 
and I need to do a little bit to get rid of the bitterness. So it developed quite some bitterness after the second bite, but it has an instant nice flavor, fruity and almost a sweet impression. Definitely not a mild one. Okay. I got actually two of each to try. Cutting this open. Oh, this smells scorching hot, guys. And let's see what we have inside. Yes, I can see it's it's covered in it's covered in oil. Getting rid of the placenta. It has um pretty much placenta too. Um and it's definitely a gnarly variety as you can see. The color is beautiful, it's uh, orange and brown and um, it looks quite mean. <laughs> you can see here how many oil it had. I'm going to cut a piece. It's pretty oily. I expect this to hurt. An instant mean burn. This piece is oily. Look at this. It's hot. This is very hot. I don't find it it um I don't find that it has a lot of flavor actually it's it's the the heat is actually more intense than than the flavor mm, if i if I needed to describe it, I would say it tastes like several chocolate varieties. Uh, it doesn't taste bitter, that's at least good, and it doesn't taste floral. It's not as intense as the dupla itself in, the, in this chocolate flavor. Mm. But it has definitely a mean heat on it, so um, for me this wouldn't be a pepper I would grow to eat them fresh, but I'm sure it makes a great sauce. Mm, I'm definitely nothing for beginners. If it's hotter than a reaper, like some people guess it, I can't say. It's still building. It climbs my uh, the roof of my mouth now. Um, it covers my whole mouth actually. And it's crawling down my throat slowly. So I'm just going to wait a few min or a minute longer and see where this goes. It's definitely not a mild one. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to describe, how to describe it better. So I'm not that much a, a, a fan of chocolate flavors myself because I find them easily too floral. This one isn't too floral. That's good. Um, but it's actually very hot and difficult to taste even to me get a little bit runny nose and <clears throat> i believe this this could easily <clears throat> still climb 
the heat could easily still climb. I'm not even sure it's done yet. <sighs> Hot. Mm. I'm not sure who grew them. Uh, so Michael sent me information about what the parents are. But um, he didn't say who grew them. And just now, this uh, second variety, the Dukla and Poch tea, um, was um, selected by the person who sent him the seeds over several uh, generations already towards um, optics and heat. And I, I can show them again just while we wait. They are. Both of them really impressive to look at. Beautiful varieties, both of them. <coughs> Sorry. And the Dugla and Butch tea, a real monster. Um, a challenging one, really definitely a challenging one. I think it's done building. Uh, it's hot. It's definitely hot. It 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 could be likely the same heat like a reaper. I don't know if it's above or not. I'm not. I, I can't analyze it. Um, it's definitely ranging somewhere around there. It's uh, hot and it's challenging. So it's not the same heat profile though because it doesn't climb and and bite that much in pain in in the throat. But it's definitely hot, really, really hot. So, um, if you enjoy a lot of pain, this is your variety to grow. Thank you for sending them, Michael, and um, I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.